Okay, I'm in humanities class taking a test, and in the corner of my eye, I notice a very suspicioso looking book chilling underneath somebody's desk. And then a few seconds later, I see an equally suspicioso toe creep in and turn the page, and I'm like, oh, how cute. Somebody's cheating. See, in high school, if the teacher catches you cheating, you get an F in the class. In college, they kick you out of school, so it's a different ballgame. So I will take my F like a house. Thank you very much. Then this girl, Sarah, takes a piece of paper and hands it back to my boy, Sean, sitting next to me. And I'm like, oh, Sean, I didn't know it was like that. I thought we was friends. He didn't even include me on this whole little cheating operation they got going on. But Sean sees me see him, and he comes up to me in the hallway after class. He's like, yo, Donde, uh, if you want, I could hand you the answers you know, while we taking the test. And I looked up at him and I was like, NIGHT! And this would have been the first time that I actually get to be the free worker. See, cheating is an art, okay? So you don't use elementary cheat tactics in college. That's insulting. This is serious business. And when I get involved, junk gets real. And y'all already know, when I cheat, I go all out. I assemble a team. I get matching Mini Coopers for all of us. I enlist the aid of a tiny little Asian man to crawl through the ventilations. And by this point, I had already given up my bad boy ways. I'm on the road less traveled get up on my level. So I declined affiliation with this rudimentary, outdated cheating tactics. But next test, oh look, a lone book coincidentally open. I wonder how that got there. And it had been so easy for me to cheat because the teacher was not paying attention. We sat in the back row. At this point, it's free money. Imagine walking by an ATM and it's just spitting out money and everybody's going crazy. Oh my God, look at all this free money. And you're the only person being honest and not taking any of it. <sighs> it was at this point that I devised plan B. Because I saw where all this was going. Every test they're getting A's, I'm getting C's, and sometimes worser. End of the semester rolls around, last test before the final. I start getting toward the end of the test, and I realize, you ain't gonna get a good grade in this class, bro. Execute plan B. I put a little note at the bottom of the page saying, please see back. I start. Dear Mr. Osborne, Bro, I've been struggling the entire semester to try to get a good grade in this class. I can't get it. And I don't know if you know this, but people in your classroom be cheating, dog. I ain't gonna say no names because I ain't no snitch, okay? But they, they might have even asked me to cheat with them, and I said, Nine! And it's really hard to be an honest student getting bad grades and sitting by all semester watching dishonest students get good grades. Holla at a player. I'm just saying. I ain't no snitch. So don't even try to ask me who it is. I don't know if you got some extra credit I could probably do to get my grade up, but if you do, I'd appreciate it. Please let me know. Yo, homie, Swoozy. Follow me on Twitter, Team Followback. Next day, teacher calls me into his office, and I'm like, yeah, uh, Mr. Osborne, you wanted to see me about something? He's like, yeah, uh, I read your little whatever on the back of your test. I'm like, hey, um, I hope you ain't calling me in here to rat on nobody, because I ain't no snitch, okay? No, I didn't call you in here for that. I was actually gonna... Okay, listen, fine. Since you put a gun to my head, I'll tell you. It's Sean and Sarah. They've been cheating all semester. And you don't even be paying attention. I know you over there doing your thing, but they, they be cheating every test. And they get A's, and I'm getting F. I'm just kidding, guys. I didn't snitch. I ain't no rat. But he was like, yeah, uh... If you want extra credit, do X, Y, Z. Turn it to me by this day, and I'll accept it. I got a C in that class. Holla at your boy. Now, granted, guys, a C is nothing to aspire after. However, being an honest student and sticking to your morals, that is. 